I'm going to make a standard solution of potassium hydrogen phthalate. What we mean by a standard is a chemical which we know we can get in very pure form, which does not react with the atmosphere, doesn't absorb moisture and is stable over time. I have roughly 0.4 of a gram of it here that has been weighed on an analytical balance, which I'm going to use to make up a standard solution of around about 0.02 moles per litre concentration. In order to do that, I need to use a volumetric flask. So this one that I have here today is a 100 ml volumetric flask. Of course, I need to rinse as I do everything else. Three small rinses with distilled water. I'm going to use a solid to make up a solution of accurately known concentration. So I have a beaker. I'm going to transfer the solid into the beaker, dissolve it in the beaker, and then once it is dissolved, transfer it to the flask. Every operation here has to be quantitative. That means that I need to make sure that I get every little bit of that KHP out of the, the vial and later on that I get every bit of the solution out of the beaker into the flask. So instead of just pouring in some water to dissolve the acid, I'm going to use the water that I rinse the vial with. And because I know I started with the acid in there, not a clean vial, I'm going to keep on rinsing until I get about 20 mils in my beaker. Also rinse the, the cap. And now to dissolve it, we need to make sure it's dissolved completely before we transfer it to the flask. Now that my acid has completely dissolved, I'm going to transfer it to the volumetric flask. Now I've rinsed my funnel with DI water. I'm going to place it in there and we're going to pour this into the, the flask. Okay. Now that we've got the bathroom in there, we need to make sure that we are going to rinse this completely so that there is none of that acid left in the beaker. Much better to use a lot of small rinses than to use one big rinse because you're practicing a serial dilution when you do that, which is far more effective with small volumes than it is to simply use one large volume. Again. When you're sure that you have rinsed all of the acid out of the beaker, you can then proceed to fill up to your mark. But you must be very, very careful not to overshoot the mark. You don't want to go above that. So I'm going to put some water into the beaker again. Just using the dropper now to make sure we get that meniscus to the line. Now that we've got the volume to the right level, place our stopper in, finger over the stopper to hold it in and simply invert a number of times to make sure that we mix it thoroughly and have uniform concentration of the solution in there. 